Hey, what's going on traders? Wednesday, February 15th, 9, 12 a.m. Here are your morning ideas. Okay, so yesterday, um, a, a big mistake by me. I didn't know that the news was coming out. I got complacent and still make some mistakes like that um, even 12 years into my trading career. And yesterday was a CPI number that came out and it caused a whippy market when I thought it was going to be a slow market because I wasn't uh, prepared for the news. Okay, so that just shows you that if you in a rush to do things, sometimes you miss things that are very, very important. Luckily, it didn't hurt me. Um, I hope that um, it didn't hurt your trading either. Uh, maybe it helped you. I don't know. It was pretty whippy, pretty difficult morning after uh, the number came out. And I believe, um, you know, 830. Um, so a, a bit of whipping up and down. But what we did is we ended up closing right on VWAP. So it's ba basically a pretty neutral um, kind of day. And then um, overnight, we've just drifted a little bit lower, but still within the range from yesterday. So you have pretty pretty much two big areas where we traded down here yesterday and then more, more so up here. And what I would think would happen off of the open is with this balanced, really tight range um, and, and pretty good volume for such a tight range is we'll probably move towards the closing price of yesterday, towards VWAP up here at 4140, um, towards 4145 where the volume point of control was. Um, and on the big picture, it's still a bit murky because we still have not broken out of this area at 4170. We're still kind of like hanging on the, uh, uh, hanging around the top. And now we've put in quite a bit of volume. If we're looking at the four hour, now we put in quite a bit of volume up here. It's almost like we are, um, you know, ranging up here now. You can see it's a really nice profile. So we've got, you know, uh, a range with a weak low. We go lower like we expect. Then we range down here push higher, pull back, and then we start walking up higher highs, higher lows, and then we range, We start ranging up here. This is very normal for the market where we, um, you know, we go from balance to areas of imbalance, and then we start balancing again, and then we move out of that area and we go to imbalance. And the more volume that we trade here, the swifter the move when we go out because a lot of stops getting hit, fresh selling and buying, um, and we move on to the next area. That's why we look at this draw these profiles just gives us a good gauge of where is the trading happening so that we know where the edges are. So right now on the four hour 4175, which again, we, we talked about 4170 to 4180, maybe even 4200 because that encompasses some of the pivots down to, you know, 4100. And we've just been trading, churning back and forth in those areas. And if you're chasing the market out of those areas, thinking that it's going to be a breakout, what happens is the market snaps back in and, and it stops you out. OK, um, so that's why I'm always looking at, you know, trying to keep a, a, an idea of what's going on big picture so that when I zoom into the small picture, I'm not just I'm not trading blind. Um, and, and let me give you an example of what I mean by that. We're still in that thick area. Right. So if if the market starts breaking out of this area, th th that's fine. It'll probably break out of the overnight range. But I know that like 4100, we were just talking about 4100 as being a an intermediate area on the, you know, on the four hour. So here's, you know, we're, we're around, you know, 4110 here, 4100 is the bottom here. You see where my crosshair is. All right. So if this market starts breaking out on the 15 minute, um, you know, on the overnight session, we start breaking lower, you know, this could be where you're looking for the target. You know, you, you could be looking to target down here somewhere instead of thinking that the market is just, just because it's broken out of the overnight you know, range that it's going to be a trend down day. It could be, but you know, it, th that's not necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily be looking for a huge move just because we broke out of the, uh, of the area overnight. Okay. So this is just showing you, um, you know, how I'm looking at the market and how I'm, you know, trying to put a, you know, a picture together of not only what's happening like overnight, but how does that fit in with what's happening overall? How does that fit into the context of the, uh, you know, the geopolitical landscape, maybe the, you know, the, the news, what's going on with, uh, you know, we don't have much going on with uh, now that Trump's not the president anymore with, you know, jerking the market around with some tweets and stuff like that. The Ukraine stuff has died down a bit, but you know, there's always a different context in the market of what's driving it right now. The, even the CPI stuff has died down a little bit. 
Um, so we don't have as much news pushing the market around, but like this time is going to be a little bit different the next time. And I think that's why it's important to really understand that it's one big puzzle that we're trying to put together to give us, you know, the best probability of, Hey, which direction do I think is more likely to go? Not which direction is the market going to go because nobody knows. Right. Um, and so that, I think that that's a key to, uh, you know, to trading well as to if, if you don't, I don't know many people that have a black box that just trades perfectly algorithmically and, 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 you know, makes money in, in every kind of market, just using the same signals over and over. I think that, um, the, the key to trading well is in the context of the market and is really understanding that context. Okay. And then, and then falling back on your executions and stuff like that, that's fine. But, um, understanding that each, the, the trading is very nuanced and, and every little like situation, every situation is just a little bit different than the last. Okay. Um, so that's it for today. I, I don't see a whole lot here. Um, you guys know the big picture, um, looking for the overnight, to, you know, to break 4,100 to a pretty key area below us. And I'm also looking to see what happens once the market gets back up to 4,144, which is the VPOC. And I think that's where the market's more likely to push off of the open. Okay, I'll stop there, try to get this to you guys. Remember, enter the... Um, the giveaway, uh, we're, we're talking about the Apple giveaway, Apple 30 being the coupon code for all of those things. I'll share the video here at the end of this video. Um, so you guys got a good idea if you haven't watched that before. All right. I'm James from Take Profit, guys. Uh, take care. We'll talk to you soon.